Hello everybody. This week's camera, camera 60, is the Minolta Instant Pro. It, was, it came out in 1990, uses the Polaroid, or these days the Impossible Project Spectra film at ISO 640. It's almost identical to the Polaroid Spectra Pro, but surprisingly the Minolta licensed version uh, hit the market first. It's quite a bit nicer than most of the uh, cameras in the Spectra line. has a three element uh, coated glass lens. Shutter is from 1 245th to 6 seconds. Uh, that's an automatic mode. Aperture from uh, f10 to f45. I don't know the guide number, but the flash is good for 2 to 15 feet. Uh, it focuses at 2 feet to infinity or with the close-up lens with this nice little measuring string it'll focus down to 10 inches. The viewfinder has a lot of good information in it. It shows the actual distance uh, according to the uh, ultrasonic uh, rangefinder and with that and the yellow and green lights it'll show you if you're too close too far for the flash or within the flash range but you have the flash disabled by the control panel on the back. Some of the special features that this camera has compared to most Polaroids and even a lot of uh, other cameras of this vintage, you can turn off the flash that doesn't seem like a big deal but you can also on this one turn off the ultrasonic autofocus so that's really good for shooting into water or shooting through glass, things that completely confuse uh, ultrasonic range finders. Uh, it has, be a little bit hard to see, but you select the mode here and then these up and down dials you step through the values. Uh, it'll do exposure compensation. I'm not sure how many steps. It has lighten and darken and you can turn off the autofocus, set it to manual focus, and with those buttons you can program the distance. So um, it's kind of a zone focusing when you do that, but you program it in um, from 2 feet to 10 feet in 0.1 foot steps. Uh, after that it goes up to a half a foot and then a foot and beyond 24 feet it just uh, works as infinity. Uh, it has program time exposures, uh, program time exposure from one second to two minutes. We're doing really long exposures. Where it'll do manual up to two minutes. Uh, the manual time exposure is good for things like fireworks where you're tracking it and you don't want it to keep going after you've seen the burst, something like that. Uh, self timer. And this little red indicator lets you know that's going on for 12 seconds. has a backlight setting for doing fill flash. It'll do sequential pictures. Uh, there's an automatic mode where it takes the first one in 12 seconds and then shots uh, at 6 second intervals after that. Or you can program the interval uh, up to 20 minutes between shots and the only limitation is the, the number of exposures you have left in the film pack. Um, it'll do multiple exposures. It's something I haven't played with, but I'm eager to try it. You can get up to five exposures on a single frame. That's pretty much it for this one. Um, it's blast to shoot with. And a side note, I'm thinning the herd. Some of the cameras I've shot over the last couple of years for the 52 cameras project. So check out my shop on Etsy, um, letting most of them go for a song. I just want them to find a good home. So I'll keep shooting, and I'll see you then.